Hello, my fellow miner. Today we're going to have a look at Jurassic Mi- No, no, that is not correct. T-Rex Miner version 0.24.8. They should really come up with a better versioning scheme than that. Here T-Rex, have a Benjamin for maximum awesomeness. Scary, cool, and sexy at the same time. I must admit I'm a bit surprised after the release, so let's have a look at the changelog. The only thing of worth here is that it prevents your graphic card from overheating if you're using dual mode, which you most likely aren't because it doesn't pay. So this is a quite boring release. Now let's look at the 24.7. Right, so 24.7 was also a boring release. So the last time they have actually done any changes on LHR, uh, proper changes was 24.6. So in other words, there shouldn't really be any reason for you to upgrade unless you are dual mining. And if you are dual mining, then I think you should reconsider because it's actually a waste. There are some that will tell you it is fantastic because you can use 100% of the GPU. I would say then just run a benchmark. It's also a waste of money. Now before we dive into it, I'll give a very quick rig introduction. Here we have Spandex, which is part of the GIMP farm, um, the GIMP farm being all LHR related uh, graphic cards. It's running on some brand new hardware like the P6X58D uh, from 2010 uh, with an i7-930. That is back from when the PCI Express uh, controller was part of, uh, of the Northbridge. Very modern stuff. I will need to upgrade this because I actually want to have a minimum of 7 graphic cards. I want a non Hynex RAM uh, 3060 Ti and I can only run 6 right now. In the case you want to create your own farm, then don't run out and buy new hardware. See if you have some old stuff lying around and then try and use that. Let's have a closer look at what we're going to test. All current and future hash rates will be reported hash rates and not true hash rates. Everything shown here is also an average and not a peak performance. So when you see someone mentioning that they got like a 39 on the RTX 3060, that is a peak performance and if you average it over time, it would definitely fall down and not run that throughout. We are going to be testing the RTX 3060 LHR version 2, uh, the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Hynex RAM military graded, the RTX 3070 LHR, the RTX 3070 Ti, the RTX 3080 LHR, and the RTX 3080 Ti. The RTX 3080 Ti used to be an Inno 3D uh, version, but uh, I have firmware updated it to an EVGA and that gives a very good performance boost. I'll throw a card up here in the corner and a link in the description if you're interested. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1552 and set the memory clock to 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. In Windows, you can either modify the existing batch file you already have or create a new one based upon what you see here. Now, I will have to come up with a prettier way to write this because it's quite ugly. Now, let's have a look at your clock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock at 1350 and the memory at 2100. In Windows, that is 1050. If you have Samsung memory, then you'll be able to clock even higher. If you have Hynex memory like me, but only two fans, then subtract a couple of hundreds. Because the one I have is the RTX 3060 Ti in the tough edition, where it has three fans with two balls of steel in each. It comes with rubber banana memory from Hynex. And as Asus writes, military graded components. The only one else with military graded balls of steel is Duke Nukem. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock at 11.25 and set the memory clock to 2600. In Windows that is 1300. You can either create a batch file based upon what you see here or modify your existing batch file in Windows. If you want to buy a new graphic card, then this is the one I recommend to buy. It is the most efficient of them all and if you can get it a bit cheaper, then it's the absolute best to buy. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti, which uh, is my least favorite card of them all. 
I locked the core clock at 930 and set the memory to 2300, which is 1150 in Windows. You can either create a new batch file in Windows based upon what you see here, or modify an existing. The reason why this is my least favorite card and why I call it the DIY card is that it came with a screw loose and thermal padding fell out after 24 hours running. That is pretty bad. Very poor quality. I'll throw a card up here so you can check it out. Performance wise the RTX 3070 Ti isn't that good and I will uh, do an in-depth test, a test through different clocks to see if we can actually get something more out of it. I was supposed to have changed all thermal paddings and uh, thermal paste on it by now but I never get the package from uh, the mail guy, I have no idea where it is, so I have to order again. Just like the mining motherboard I've been waiting for. Anyway, let's move on and have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR. I locked the core clock at 1500 and set the memory clock to 3400, which is 1700 in Windows. This is a relatively new card for me and if you're interested in Ergo, you can check out the full test here. Done with the help of Doom Donkey. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti with the BIOS update. I lock the core clock at 1200 and set the memory clock to 2600, which is 1300 in Windows. I used to set the core clock at 1500, but uh, that is not necessary anymore and now it actually goes above 90, which is very nice. Check the description for a link or click the card up here. If you are running Windows, you can either create a new batch file based upon what you see here or modify an existing batch file. If you wonder why I keep saying that because you have been watching from the very start, it's because people keep asking me. So now I figured I'll just say it in the actual video that they should check the white box. That will save me some time on comments and free up some time to do more tests. Still, if you have a problem and you need help, just write a comment and I always reply. Maybe not the same day though. Of course your comment has to be related uh, to mining and not something like oh I have a triple knotted uh, shoelace I can't get up. Then I most likely won't comment. But uh, pro tip use a scissor. That was of course a total lie. I'll comment anyway. Most likely something stupid though. Like the recipe for a banana milkshake. Now let's have a look at the average reported result. First up will be the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. 36.4 MHz per second at 105 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.347. That is oddly enough lower than I expected, but uh, let's move on to the RTX 3060 Ti. 43.9 MHz per second at 124 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.354. When it comes to numbers, I usually have a very good memory, and these numbers seem off compared to version 24.6. Let's move on and I have a look at the RTX 3070 LHR. 45.9 MHz per second at 112 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.410. Let's move on to the DIY 3070 Ti. 59 MHz per second at 185 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.319. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3080 LHR. 77.6 MHz per second at 246 watts to give an efficiency of 0.315. Right, something is very wrong, I'll need to compare with the previous results afterwards. And let's have a look at the RTX 3080 Ti. 90.2 MHz per second at 267 watts which gives an efficiency of 0.338. Let's compare these tests to my earlier tests. The 3060 diff is half a megahash per second, the 3060 Ti diff is 0 0.3 megahash per second, the 3070 diff is 5 watts, which is a lot, the 3070 Ti diff is 0 0.3 megahash per second, and the 3080 diff is 1.1 megahash per second. As I've changed the BIOS on the 3080 Ti, those results can't really be compared. This is actually pretty interesting, it means that now all my great video plans goes directly to the trash can because I have to figure out if this is due to uh, the driver version or something else. Maybe it could be the version of T-Rex, uh, but before I conclude anything I need to actually research it. Depending on what the reason is, I may post it in community where you need to be a subscriber to see it or uh, create a completely new video. So in case you are not a subscriber, subscribe. In case you are a subscriber and one of those who just joined because of uh, 
Red Panda uh, referring to me. Thank you very much and welcome. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.